you know, armies are there, so the people fight each other and they all die. And then the, uh, the enemy within can take all the power. This is pharaonic. Uh, one Reich, one empire, is like Germany fights another empire, like Russia. And then the third empire, the enemy within, or the third Reich, they take all the power afterwards. You know, the men are all dead, so they take the country, the land, the cattle, the power, and the women. That's how they do it. So wars are just there to play people out against each other. Wars are human beings against human beings. Then there is another army, the police which is a worldwide army against the people. So, you know, to control them and to terrorize them who are left uh, are being um, fought like uh, by, the, uh, by the world army, the police. And we can see that two policemen from two different countries, they get better along with each other than you and the policemen of your country, you know. So, the Swiss army the mercenaries, you know, they just take orders. It's a stupid thing anyway, taking orders. Who could think of a stupid thing like that? So there's winter 2012, you know. The police, you know, they are like a real army. They're having helicopters, infrared material, uh, guns, machine guns. They're training every day how to kill a human being, you know. <laughs> they're getting more and more powerful. They're getting, especially here in Switzerland, they're getting more and more violent and criminal. They're lying things together, you know, to put foreigners in prison. Uh, oh, we just end up into slavery, you know. So who's that? It's a sergeant, or what? This gun. In Switzerland, every man has his uh, assault rifle at home, a Zig. Uh, at home, you, you imagine with bullets and everything. This is a mercenary army, a mercenary tradition. They all take the thing at home, you know. Can you imagine, you know, like an M16, like a fully automatic. Uh, Swiss mercenaries. Okay. Uh, 